All right, greetings YouTube. I just want to say thank you for all the uh, subscribers lately, and please subscribe if you're not subscribed, and thumbs up this video. Um, I get occasionally uh, people just assume that I hate other vacuum brands. I don't really hate other vacuum brands, but there are brands like the Eureka Sanitaire line that have maybe outlived um, some of their use. Now, that being said, they have come out with some new products, so they are trying to improve. But let's talk about an old product, because it's kind of a quirky machine. So this product started in the 90s. It's got a folding handle. It's got a full bag check indicator. It's a two-motor bypass. Uh, it's a lifetime belt. It does not have a swivel neck, though. And it's got a very narrow cleaning path. But what makes this machine relevant now is that it is almost the same size and shape as a shark vacuum, but it's bagged. Uh, so it's a lot more efficient, a lot less money to run, and it is much higher quality than like a shark vacuum or something like that. I still wouldn't put it at uh, the commercial level, which is where it's most commonly found, ironically enough. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, and it gets, it's got like this, like it doesn't get all the way low uh, it comes with like a nice long hose that attaches to this little hose, but it's still got top mount accessories, so it has a tendency to fall over when you use them, so you end up having to pick the thing up. It's got like a polymer brush roller, and you can shut that brush off for bare floors, and there's wheels in the squeegee, and you know, these are sold for under 300 bucks, so it is what it is. I, I think I, there are other commercial vacuums I'd rather have in this price range, but that being said, they're still making this, so... Just kind of wanted to mention that, what this is. Uh, we'll particle test it. This is made before HEPA filter. So it just has a two layer paper bag, a foam intake filter, then a very thin micro filter on here. Um, it's not gonna do well. It wasn't made to do this. So I, I really kinda will say that this is not a fair test, particularly with this machine. So here's what's in the air. I actually just vacuumed with it. So it kinda put a lot of stuff in the air. So we're gonna see real quick what it does that's very very good that's what it does the clean bag and clean filter but you'll notice the air quality is very bad around here and that's because it does leak some dust uh, out here. It actually throws dust through this head as it take as it's very strange the path in this head. Um, I really should have done a video taking that part. Um, so we're gonna, just gonna test the seam here, and I'm gonna show you the filter and why it's different. Well, it doesn't do well. There's a reason for that. Because the only thing that this has for a filter is a micro filter. And this one's probably could be changed. Uh, that might help a little bit, but I kind of doubt it because there's no gasket going to this anywhere. So it's always going to leak air around here. And it's got audibly big holes right here. I mean, these are huge. These holes right here, if you guys can see that, uh, are huge. Or <laughs> it's just going to leak dust out. So. And then the machine is seamed up the middle and splits apart this way. Um, so this kind of machine is never going to do well. It, again, it wasn't designed. This thing was like the size of a room when they designed this. So, you know, to put into context that this machine is just old. Um, so yeah, so that is uh, what a sanitaire, is there what, a 728? 782, my bad. So 782 will do with the particle counter and just a brief overview of what this thing is. Uh, as always, please subscribe. That helps us out a whole lot. Like, comment below, and we want to thank everybody who supports our Patreon as well.